Hi, I'm Brian Davis from Seven Springs Mountain Resort Snow Sports School, and I'm here today to talk to you about snowboarding for beginners. For this, you're going to need a snowboard. And when you go out to learn to snowboard, I have a couple tips for you that may help you as a beginner not lose your balance while you're trying to negotiate your first hill. One of the things that we like to say in the industry is stand in a neutral athletic stance. Uh, the words kind of don't mean much unless you think about sports you might have played or watched in your life. A neutral athletic stance is an athletic stance, generally bendy ankles, knees, and hips flexed, the body kind of upright over your base of support, your feet. And the neutral part is no tendency to be ready for a force which could come from a specific direction. Uh, say in football, you may bend over like this, ready for a force to come at you from the front. In snowboarding, the force comes from that way, that way, that way, that way, most importantly, perhaps that way, and less often that way unless it's snowing really hard. Don't have a tendency to uh, lean or tip or uh, have a tendency in any direction, neutral is better. Gives you the widest range of options to maintain your balance. The neutral athletic stance is even weight on both feet. There are times you'll choose to depart from this as you ride, but it's a basic good tactic for beginning snowboarding. Another one, use small movements. When you try to change the way the board touches the snow, if you use large jerky movements, you're much more likely to throw yourself out of balance. The smaller movements you can make, generally the better things work. If you need a larger or more forceful movement, start small and let it grow. Don't slam it full tilt into high gear like that. Lastly, keep your feet under your body. And this may seem like the silliest of things, but when people lose their balance, they tend to move their feet from out from under their bodies. Uh, sometimes I see it in the form of kicking, where the foot comes out from under the body. I most often see it when someone feels like they're going to lose their balance and they straighten their knees, in which case they shove their feet away from their center of mass or the core of their being. The further your feet get out from under your body, the less likely you are to remain standing on a slippery stick when you point it over a frozen surface. Those are some basic tips for beginning snowboarding. 